See the putty, it's a little bit of- Yo, that- God sake. Uh, where should I put this? Um, you know what, just put it in the bag for now. Yo guys, we're doing some renovating here at the garage, trying to fill in all of the cracks on the floor. This is the first time we're working with this concrete stuff. I bought two boxes of black epoxy, and they were hella expensive. It's supposed to cover one garage, but this pretty much counts as three. So, we'll be conservative with the epoxy, and hopefully uh, it'll be enough to cover this place. The idea is to just clean this place up and make it look like a, a really nice organized garage studio space. So that's what we've been doing for the past couple of days now. Figured, you know what, we have this place for another three years. That's what the contract says. Might as well just make the most of it and really make it our place. I feel like once these are patched up, and this rubber liner is replaced and like completely sealed. No water is gonna come leaking into our garage bay anymore. This place is going to see some changes in the next week or so. Yo guys, earlier today, it was like a no hesitation situation. We did a thing. Look who picked up this new Scion. Small preview. So spacious. The guy who sold it to me even threw in the winter tires. So this is winter ready. Stampeders represent. I'm actually so stoked on this thing. I've always wanted one. So we'll come back with friend to pick it up, but now we got two Scions. Hey. Now, I've actually always wanted a Scion XB. Always been interested in it, and I've always loved boxy, boxy cars. I was just randomly searching for it yesterday and found this really amazing deal on this low mileage Scion XB. The exact model type that I've always been interested in. I messaged the guy last night, only took him an hour to respond back to me, and just like that, took a look at it. We're gonna be picking it up in a couple of hours. All right, Blue Blue, Hello. please take me to the new vehicle. Okay, let's go, let's go. Waited a couple hours. I didn't wanna be driving in rush hour traffic. It would have taken us like double the time to get there and back, so just gonna chill. Trey, hold down the fort, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate it, man. I'll let go. It's your car! Is that it? That is! Oh, That's it! Chilling there. The guy said he may may not be here, but... can just pick it up. Woo! There she be. This is it. We have ourselves a Scion XB. Alright, so basically this is a 2005 Scion XB. He left the roof racks for us, which is sweet. And let's open it up. He also included... Okay, first of all, 
price. He was advertising it for 2600 and I was able to get him to lower it to 2300 which is kind of like my maximum price for one of these, but that's already like several thousand from what I thought these were selling at. So look inside, super spacious. So one of the main reasons I'm picking up one of these more reliable work vehicles is to be able to transport bigger car parts, art canvases that you can't normally fit into my FRS. I've been using my FRS almost all the past previous shows these years, but I think this is gonna be so much more convenient for us. And these already come with Koenig wheels, which are, they look like 17 inch. Might keep those. A few exterior rust spots. May have to look at the brakes too. The rear ones are actually a little worse. But that's like the extent of the rust. We took a look underneath and everything seemed to be fine. Other than that, man, this thing is badass. We'll open her up. The guy also left us with Pretty decent tread winter tires. This is kind of one of the main features why I like this car is the front windshield is basically like a super widescreen TV and you have so much view in space. This is gonna be so much more efficient for us for future shows. But uh, yeah, we'll bring it back to the garage. This isn't insured or anything. Crossing our fingers, we'll just bring it back and hopefully no one stops us along the way. To show you guys that this thing is in working condition. And it comes with this funky shift knob. And the AC is working, fully functional. This was really unprecedented. I didn't know that I was gonna act this quick on this, but it was kind of like a deal that I didn't wanna pass up. It was also advertised that he did put in some shop work before putting it up for sale. And uh, this is the receipt for that. He almost spent $1,500 on repairs. So everything from making sure there's no leaks, all the belts replaced, all the fluids, check it's all right here uh took it for a test drive earlier should be mechanically sound and for 2300 bucks can't really go wrong this thing is so sick sweet dude <laughs> that lady thought we were stealing this car for stress yo hey <laughs> so what the guy told me was uh he had this thing lying around at his grandma's house, which is where we picked it up. For the past eight years, he's just been running little errands here and there with it. Really had no other use for it. So yeah, just getting rid of it. Kind of hopped on the opportunity. If we wanted, we could actually flip this for a little more than what we bought it for already. At the end of the day though, I've actually always wanted a Scion XB, so yeah. These things are hard to come by nowadays. I forgot, you have to import Scion XBs into Canada. So the speedometer is in miles. Dude. Yo, what do you think? It's so boxy. <laughs> oh, so comfortable. Dude, this thing literally has no blind spot. This thing's sick, dude. And it's so comfortable to drive. Oh man, I'm already like thinking about, no, oh, what am I doing? <laughs> this is supposed to be a reliable daily. That's not how it works. Oh my God. What the fuck? I'm really stoked. So much room. There's a couple of dents, a few scratches. It looks like someone keyed this thing. Damn, that's really deep. And this is VIP build, remember. I'm definitely gonna bang it. So Trey got a new set of taillights. Illumisthetics. Shouts. Illumisthetic Customs. So I got the, I'm doing the reflectors. Yeah. They want to do like a, they want to experiment with them. Like they want to like print something on the lens or do like custom LEDs in there. Like laser pattern. engraving? Yeah, something like that. Whoa. I need to think of a pattern, but I don't. Let's see them pups. Woo! I want to be careful with this, okay? I wonder what he uses for the strip, because it's like, it's cut to shape. It's sick, dog. Such a big difference, dude. Car's coming along, though. He also just recently installed the spoiler. Good thing it came with spares. Such a huge difference. Floor's looking good. We've decided to go with a cheaper alternative, which is just buy the primer or the base epoxy and have them paint it the color. And uh, in this case, I just got them to paint it black. And I'm sure once we add the clear coat ourselves, it's gonna be just as shiny as this. And taking photos in here, that's what I'm excited about. You can see the reflection on the ground like it's sitting on water or oil or something. It's gonna be cool. Let's see what the fellas in uh, custom decals are up to. 
Yo, what up, dude? Just showing these people my inspiration. <laughs> these kids turn their shop around. I see you, Sean. What's up, dude? Oh, what's <laughs> up? up? What? Up garage. Yeah. Larry came back from Japan and brought him some souvenirs. Can't tell it's a towel. It's a banner, dude. It's a towel. At, at least it's legit. I'm showing the thousands of folks at home what you've done with this place in a matter of months. Not even, like a couple of weeks, man. Painted the walls, painted the floor, and they already... This place is like always filled with cars that are in progress. Scion Brothers. I'm really into the boxy cars, you know? Again, one of the main reasons why we got this thing in the first place was for reliability and to be able to transport bigger things, you know, tires for one, entire booths, and uh, yeah, just a more efficient, drivable four-door daily. We are about to put the epoxy, and we bought ourselves new slippers. <laughs> Crocs, bro, Crocs, actually, those are way I'm gonna take these ones. Is it dry? So this actually ends up turning clear, right? Sonny wasn't kidding when he said it looked like milk. Oh, cup shot. <laughs> whoa, 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 chill. What? It looks like it belongs. Yo, we decided to go for a little joyride in the new Scion. Frosty chocolate milkshakes. It's actually a pretty hot day. Getting milkshakes for everybody. Frosties, Wendy's. How do you like the new Scion, dude? Yeah, it's sick, man. Not bad. Very nice. We're thinking of throwing a, a longer stick shift in this that almost touches the roof. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Oh, sweet dude. Delivery, delivery. Here you go. There's a spoon here. Thank you. Yep. Hold on. What? Don't tell me you got stuck. I don't know. Oh, what? Yo, sick. Why is grass <laughs> work so wise this time? I used to catch these guys. Whoa! Oh. He just jumped into the wall. Yo, what up, Brendan? Damn. How are you? <laughs> My new buddy Hinton came by the shop and he's helping me out install these because I'm pretty sure this is a two-man job. Semi new garage space. Just went through like an extreme makeover uh, on the bottom part mostly. With all the cars parked in here in their designated spaces, 
It looks like an actual garage shop now. It really does seem like it can fit three cars comfortably where everyone can work on their cars. No one's bumping into each other. We got the tire racks up, the grids, we moved on to that wall. This wall, we kind of just kept it really clean. We were supposed to get mirrors. I think that fell through, but I'm still gonna see if Brandon can hook us up with some. That LED awning setup which took us like two days, is almost complete. We're just missing some signing on it. I think I'm just gonna print out a couple of decals. The tires are just neatly tucked in away in this corner. It just feels good to be in a really clean shop where we know where everything is. Sonny went to his work and we picked up uh, baseboards so we're gonna basically border up the bottom of the walls make it a little neater other than that just uh yeah man grind keep working on ourselves I'm gonna continue the vlog tomorrow I still have a lot to catch up on <laughs> bid you guys good night for now